Hi, I'm Sarah. Today I'm going to show you some of the features and functions of your 10-in-1 platform trainer system. In this one device, you have 10 training stations and aids. You have access to a dip rack, an ab dolly, an adjustable height step with safety handrails, a six-level plyo box, a massage stick, a foam roller, a slant board, an adjustable height push-up station, a set of suspension bars, and a utility bench all at your disposal without having to wait or share. Let's begin by showing you step-by-step -step how to set up a unit. With the 10-in-1 in the upright position, open the suspension bars wide to receive the platform. Next, insert two platform posts into the left rail at the desired elevation. Then, line up the right rear post of the platform with the back keyhole. Close the right suspension bar like a gate and make certain that all four posts are secure at the bottom of the keyholes prior to beginning any training. Your new 10-in-1 platform trainer is portable and requires no anchor points. The suspension bar handrails feature six training elevations, three color-coded training zones, with an interchangeable bar that easily stows away at the unit's frame. The removable plyo platform has a comfortable no-slip surface, two open hand slots, and four commercial-grade casters. There are four posts on the corners of the platform to secure it safely in the training zones and two posts on the undercarriage to secure it while in storage. The two side panels provide storage for the foam rollers and anything you may need to stow while training. They also display 30 metabolic movements and show three progressive workouts. The 10-in-1 has six no-skid feet and can be adjusted to enlarge the base of the unit when the activity or user may require it. Whenever using the 10-in-1 platform training system, be certain that all four platform posts are locked into an elevation on the suspension rails before attempting to use the unit. If you find that your movements cause the unit to feel unstable and you feel like you may cause the unit to tip, place the unit next to a wall when you use it until you're strong enough to use it away from the wall. Remember, our goal is to progressively intensify the training experience without injury.